Hello, everyone. I'm Bill Brundage. Channel 9 is proud to pay tribute to the top college nine of the nation, SC's outstanding baseball team. 12 national championships, 21 college World Series appearances, 38 conference championships. USC spent decades building one of the greatest dynasties in college baseball history. When Garrett Stubbs arrived in 2011, however, the landscape of what was once the most dominant program in the nation looked much different. The team ended his freshman season losing 17 of their last 18 games and found themselves increasingly discouraged at the bottom of the conference. We put in so much time to do well and to have to lose as much as we did my first two years here, especially at a program that has had such a winning tradition. And my first two years here did not reflect that. After closing the books on another losing season, Change came to USC in 2013 when Dan Hubbs became the head coach. My message to the guys was, I'm willing to do anything to turn this thing around. I'm willing to pick up trash, I'm willing to pick up balls, I'm willing to do whatever. So you need to be able to do the same. The coach came in here and kind of set the tone that from here on out, we're changing the face of this program. And we, don't, we won't speak of the past anymore. We won't speak of what happened. And whatever happens now is what's important. Just one year later, the win started coming. USC finished 2014 with a 29 and 24 record. It was the first time they broke 500 since 2005 and they missed postseason play by just one game. Being able to watch the selection show and feel like you just got punched in the gut, we had a great fall practice. We had a great practices leading up to the season. And then it's just kind of carried over. Kind of going into the summer, everyone's mindset was entirely different than I think it had been in a long time and it was about making a change. It was about going to summer ball, getting yourself prepared for coming back in the fall, having good practices, having good inner squads, and starting from the beginning, basically starting from the ground up now in changing the culture of the program. With a newfound confidence and purpose, the Trojans opened up 2015 with their best start to a season since 1998, including one special weekend in March when USC upset three top 10 teams in three days. Robinson comes in to score with a collision at the plate, and USC wins in walk-off fashion. And if the Trojans did not have the attention of the college baseball world before the weekend, now they do. I kind of took a deep breath and realized that the weekend that we just had was going to be something that was going to show what we were going to do that season. It's, it's exhilarating. I actually sent a text to my team that Tuesday after winning all that just thanking them for the memories we had already started. We were only you know, 10 games in the season. And now we're that team to watch out for. People want to beat us, and it's a good feeling. We were on the other side of that last year and the years before. USC finished the 2015 regular season 37-19, and the program's best record since 2001. And now for the first time in nearly a decade, the Trojans are back in the national spotlight and back in the NCAA baseball tournament, right where they belong. It's been unbelievable, and it's a great group of guys. Um, you know, I couldn't think of a better group of guys to play with my senior year. But, you know, after playing here and not having those winning seasons, to be able to come back and have the season that we're having right now, you know, it's just the icing on the cake. It's, it's really why, the reason why I came back senior year and, and Dante came back senior year and other people will come back senior year. It's because they want to be here and make a difference in, at USC and for the Trojans and, and play for something more than just a paycheck. In many ways, Stubbs' journey as a Trojan parallels that of his team. After two discouraging seasons, he is now a team captain and a semifinalist for the Johnny Bench Award given to the nation's best catcher. He's done exactly what he set out to do, make a difference. And now as the team prepares for regionals this weekend, Stubbs and his fellow Trojans have a bigger goal to lead the program back to Omaha and begin a new golden era for USC baseball.